I wish I'd never got married. <laughs> um, I do, I absolutely do. I had suicidal thoughts. I was very depressed. I took a lot of drugs. I, took, I, I would drink myself into oblivion um, just to shut my thoughts out, just to not have to deal with myself and to just not feel um, because I felt awful most of the time. The whole thing about marriage, you know, I question that now and reasons for getting married. So, but in terms of divorce, I see it as a positive thing. It gives me a sense of freedom and to be myself again. But I didn't necessarily want that. Well, welcome all to the Alternative Divorce Radio Show here today with your host, Alternative Divorce Guide, Miss Susie Miller, alongside the relationship DJ, Andrew. But you can call me the Barefoot Barrister. Well, we have here the pack, and the pack is the Alternative Divorce Cards, a number of cards with wonderful, empowering messages to help you along the journey of this transition that you may be going through right now. So what will your card be today? Just wait and see. It's all perfect. If I told you now that everything that is happening is perfect and just how it should be, you might feel like punching me. Yet most of the people I talk to who are further on in their journey will hand on heart say that they have learned a great deal from being stripped away to their core essence, that they now see the value in all of what happened in their lives, even the really painful parts. The further you travel on this journey, the more you realize that everything is perfect, so you can then let go of the past and create the future you choose. Welcome to the question and answer session. I am your relationship DJ, the Barefoot Barrister. You can call me Andrew. Well, the first question comes in tonight. Comes from a young lady going through a rough time at the moment. She says her ex is trying to make her use lawyers. And she's worried about the cost. Well, the advice comes to you in a very simple message. Spend less on lawyers and more on your kids. In fact... There are many things in this process you don't even need a lawyer for. They may not be experts in finance. They may not be able to help you on the emotional journey you're going through. And they won't be able to help you in parenting. So the key message here tonight is choose your experts carefully. And more importantly, spend your money wisely. Clear evidence from mediation studies on the harm adversarial divorce does to children in the long term seems to be not getting through to the public. Back in 2009, in the UK, a Mishkondorea study showed parents are willing to drag their children into the divorce process even when they acknowledge that the result is harmful to the children. In almost a quarter of cases, one parent forced their child to lie to the other parent. More than one in 12 children had considered suicide as an escape, and a third had turned to drug or alcohol abuse. One in 10 of the children resorted to crime. Oh, if you can, I would, I would go for the co-parenting, the parallel parenting suggests that you've got two different sets of you're just just there's no cohesion between you at all and it's not totally possible because you're two independent people anyway but you've got to there has to be some um you can't you can't expect children to live parallel lives it's unfair you just you just can't it's not easy at all and some days you'll be able to do it um, better than others 
but it's all part of the journey, isn't it? You you have to take each each circumstance as it comes up, and those times when you feel like you're not going to be able to cope with it, you have you have a plan of action after the situation. So you don't sit in that house and dwell on it. You get out and you ring a friend and you say, "Can I get out?" Or you you just give you you give yourself almost like a, a reward for getting yourself through it. For many years, as a teenager and in my early 20s, I really struggled. I really struggled to find my own footing, find my own feet. Um, I was anorexic for about 15 years. I was very depressed. I took a lot of drugs. I, took, I, I would drink myself into oblivion um, just to shut my thoughts out, just to not have to deal with myself and to just not feel um, because I felt awful most of the time. And so back in about seven years ago now, uh, I went through what I would call a dark night of the soul moment, which was my divorce. Um, and it took a good three years to recover from. And now I realize it didn't have to have taken that much time. But what I also recognize that is that sometimes with our divorces and our breakups, it's never really about the other person. It's about stuff that we needed to clear. It's about our own thinking that we needed to look at and our own attachments that we may have needed to uh, disattach from. So it's amazing now I look back at that life that I had because now I, I see myself in a very different light. There is no way I would ever have a suicidal thought. There is no way that um, I would ever be put myself through the struggle of anorexia ever again. I love my food too much and I'm now getting married. So what I can say is, is that if you give yourself the opportunity to and time to put yourself in a place where you can heal, you can grow, uh, you can get clarity of mind, then it is priceless because it will not only affect you, it will affect your children, It'll affect the next relationship you come into. Um, I never thought I'd ever get married again, and it's amazing. I've, I've really now love being in a relationship with a man, whereas before I hated it. And it's, and it's amazing. It's just transformed my life, and I know it will transform yours um, and the clients that I work with um, as a result. Hello, uh, I'm Simon Kerry Morgan. I'm a local practitioner in the village of Forest Row. I've been uh, practicing alternative medicine for the last 25 years, um, specifically acupuncture and Chinese medicine, but also uh, in internal martial arts, Tai Chi, meditation, and all kinds of things that make you feel good. Illnesses, actually, to some degree, some shock, whether it's a traumatic shock or an emotional shock, such as in a divorce situation, um, acupuncture, not solely acupuncture, but many of the alternative therapies can help with the process of uh, going through shock, um, dealing with the classic four phases of that process of denial, anger, grief, and then finally resolution. The big problem really with uh, emotions in general is that we don't let them complete their cycle. So we, we stay in grief, we get stuck in anger, we fixed in denial. And until we can let those emotions run full circle and run their course, then we can't find resolution. And so whether it's body work, massage, osteopathy, it, all of these things can help to relax the body, which is the, you know, the foundation. This is where we feel all our feelings. And when we have an extreme emotion, then our body becomes often locked up or rigid, and body work can help to release that, which then uh, facilitates the, the healing or the beginning of the healing process on, on our emotional journey towards resolution. Acupuncture works in a very specific way to unlock your own mm, power, your own constitutional energies which help to bring you back to who you are and help to re-establish the sense of individuality which is so often lost in a relationship that's turned sour. Um, so in these ways, you know, just these two therapies uh, uh, can be extremely helpful in, in these circumstances. Thank you for joining me 
once again on another wonderful show. And tonight we leave you with this message. The law of balance means finding the middle way. It means not being pulled left or right. It means finding the center. And finding the center is a place of peace. It's a place that all actions come from. Because when we find the middle way, we find our balance. We're not pulled left, right. We stay firm and centered in ourselves. We take full responsibility and know that when we walk the middle path, the way of peace, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So when things get rough and things get tough, remember to breathe and take time out. Take time out from the experience. Be still and witness the emotions that are coming up rather than being pulled about by them. And remember the law of balance. The law of balance is finding the middle way, like treading a tightrope, not too far to the left or too far to the right, but completely in the center. And that center is always peace. I'm your alternative divorce guide, Susie Miller, your travel guide to stay out of court divorce. Find out more about our guests on the show by going to alternativedivorceradio.com.